Our next presenter for the day is Aisa Hedayati Azhar, a PhD student under the supervision of Professor Subhasis Khushal in Department of Civil Engineering. And she'll be presenting on nanopesticide transport in porous media and uptake in plants. Previous research has shown that in most cases, more than 90% of pesticides are wasted, which means wasting a lot of money. And yes, you heard that right. Only less than 10% of pesticides that are used in the agriculture make it to the plant, which leaves a huge amount of toxic chemicals to stay in the environment, uh, threatening non-target organisms' life, including humans' health. So we need a solution as soon as possible, and lucky us, here it comes nano-encapsulation technology, a cutting-edge promising solution for, for uh, pesticide delivery. Actually, it's an innovative method which involves loading pesticide inside some nano-carriers before applying them to plants. Encapsulating pesticide actually uh, prevents the immediate dispersion of pesticide uh, right after their application. In addition, uh, this is an, a technology which uh, enables the slow controlled release, which uh, enables us to have a, um, the reduced amount of uh, pesticide dosage and also uh, increasing uptake efficiency, which is really favorable. In this regard, our lab has previously developed a method for uh, uh, synthesizing porous hollow silicon nanoparticle, or PHSN, which is an excellent candidate for using as a nanocarrier due to their substantial loading capacity and uh, by compatible nature of silica, actually. Let's look at the whole story. We load pesticide inside some nanocarriers, and we ideally want them to get through gradually release from their nanocarriers during the time at a specific time and locations. So it's important to know how this release process works, how this mechanism works, and how we can manipulate that in the most favored way so we can get the most out of that to suit our specific needs. In this regard, I aim to unravel how different properties of pesticide affect the release rate by combining both modeling and experimental approach. Accordingly, I will find the most optimized design of nanocarriers based on the unique characteristics of each pesticide. Then I will have the most effective release of pesticide based on our need. Accordingly, uh, this, the results of this study will pave the way for the more sustainable agriculture by minimizing its uh, environmental effects. Thank you so much. <laughs>